All right, I am going to do an upper body band work. And if you're new to bands, you're going to start with the least resistance. That means the easiest band, because all these bands have different resistance. And you're going to be able to tell some by just looking. This one says 30 pounds. This one says 19 pounds. So pick the easiest resistance if you're brand new, you haven't been working out, and you're new to band work. So for me, this one is going to be um, the yellow band. Now, they're not universal, so make sure you look at each one and stay with the least resistance. So we're going to do bicep curls. So how are you going to do that? Is you're going to step evenly on the band. Now, anytime you're working out with weights or you're strength training, doing bands, this is how you set up, okay? So you set up with your feet underneath your hips. The toes are slightly turned out. You have a little baby bed. Now I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. This is straight. This is a squat. And this is a baby bend. Baby bend just allows your quads to activate and your glutes to activate. So you have little baby bend. Now I want you to lift your chest, roll your shoulders up and around and towards your spine, and keep your chest tall and your abs on. When you turn your abs on, like almost like somebody's gonna punch you, right? But you're breathing, that acts as a corset for your whole core and your lower back. You always wanna protect your lower back and make sure that you're not gonna injure yourself. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do bicep curls and we're gonna do them at the same time. So notice my palms are facing that way. Nice tall chest, abs are on, and I'm going to come all the way up and all the way down. So notice that my palms now face my shoulders, and then they face down. The other thing I want you to take notice of is that my wrists are neutral, so they're in line with my forearm. So you're not going like this, right? You're not bending your wrist backwards, and you're not bending it forwards. Your wrists are in line with your forearm. Okay, so we're going to do 12 reps, one, two, all the way up, three, and notice my chest is nice and tall, I'm standing nice and tall, pretend you're like a soldier, standing nice and tall, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. 11 and 12. Okay, perfect. So now you should feel some tension in your biceps because I even did, and that is the lightest one. So that's perfect. So this is why band work is amazing, right? You don't have to go to a gym. You don't have to buy a bunch of dumbbells because you're gonna start with the lightest weight and you're gonna get stronger and you're gonna pro uh, progress as you get stronger and you're gonna switch the band. So I want you to think about how you felt when you did the 12 reps, you should have felt by the ninth, oh, my biceps feel a little pumped, right? They feel like they're getting a little fatigue. That's perfect. That's exactly where you want to be each and every time. If you feel like you're whipping through it, right, slow it down, take your time, really give the biceps a nice squeeze, and then go down. So you notice that when I did it, I wasn't going too fast and I wasn't going too slow. This is the perfect tempo to work your biceps. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to rest for 45 seconds and repeat this exercise two times. 